Yo, what is up you guys, your boy Swagcoon, back at it again with another video, and today we are going to be going over the War Gara, Wara, however you want to call the boys, Rekit, Attack Mission, Solo, and Defense Showcase. Now there have been a lot of mixed reviews on the boy Gara, and in my opinion, I will double down on it, um, you know what I'm saying, I do think you should skip on this banner, I only summoned because for content, you know what I'm saying, I'm a content creator, I gotta, gotta put on the content for y'all, you know what I'm saying, but anyways if you guys haven't checked out my summoning video please go check that out posted that yesterday but without further ado we will be going over his kit as well as an attack mission and defense showcase let's get straight into it so i didn't pull his new x ultimate i wasn't gonna like invest into getting his new x ultimate but his new x ultimate does give damage notification which is pretty nice but his old ultimate is also just fine we have it at level one this is his four star right here so decreases invincibility, decreases defense and confusion resistance, increases his attack, his crit, makes him invincible, and it basically just does a lot of damage, which is pretty nice. We have his insane limit break right here, which is great in attack mission and as a support, but not that great on defense because it doesn't have chakra strip, but it gives him invincibility, gives him a bunch of buffs, and also gives him more damage depending on the buffs that he has. I have it at limit break one which doesn't have double strip but at limit break two it does which is you know nice but i only have it at limit break one and we have his old sand tornado limit break at limit break three which decreases invincibility and increases damage so right now i only have him with a bunch of hp but i will be giving him some youth trophies for the showcases um and the ninja bomb that i will be using is obito rampage just to get some extra damage and chakra depletion so without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into the attack mission solo and defense showcase let's get it let's get it baby now honestly i'm actually like okay i have mixed feelings about gara because i i genuinely like gara as a character so i feel like they did him right with his kit i just really 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 wish that he was more team oriented because i feel like look i'm not mad about having a skip banner right before you know wandering into sasuke and sakura hopefully come out fuck we missed that um i'm not mad about it but i would have liked to have gara get a better rekit because like the jutsus are fine like the actual animation of the jutsus are great the sand tornado is great his sand dome limit break is great look at this watch watch watch, watch. check this out uh, right now you might be thinking this man is getting his cheeks clapped but watch how this man flips it around look at the aoe just off of all of his jutsus bro like these are just back-to-back -back jutsus look at the insane aoe I imagine this in final room with like team invincibility crazy chakra drain like team buffs that would have been so nasty bro having him in final room with team buffs team invincibility but they did him dirty i mean maybe he would have been too op but like who cares like nobody is more op than the final valley units right now so what would you lose for making an op gara unit you know what i'm saying like i feel like he deserves it and gara gara used to be the most meta defensive character back in the day bro like before there was final valley sasuke and before donzo and before all those guys it used to be gara and gara used to go crazy he used to trap you in like this infinite loop where he would pull you in with like a sand a quicksand thing and then the sand pillar and then the huge dome if you guys remember that for all my ogs and the veterans out there he was crazy so it would have been super dope to have gara make a comeback as one of the best defenders in the game again so that's why i am a little salty about it but it does kind of work out because like i said there is a high possibility that wandering ninja sasuke and sakura come back but as you guys can see this man does pretty good damage right now he is boosted so obviously you know his attack is higher his defense is higher all his stats are higher but even then look he decreases defense here sand tornado one shot a sasuke a kid sasuke so you know what i'm saying let's just try and for those of you who don't know how to get around these let me show y'all real quick give yourself a speed buff you're gonna wait for it to shoot out the water and you're gonna hit it you feel me yes sir you feel me i got y'all so again starting off with that to decrease the defense look at that bro are you kidding me like i really wish that they gave this man some good buffs bro but anyways let's go ahead and use this right outside of the gate give myself a little speed buff and let's insta cast it and there we go baby there we go they didn't have klm naruto unfortunately boruto's gonna use his x ultimate but with the invincibility we should be good right here just look at the aoe man imagine this in final room with chakra depletion and team buffs he would have been so crazy he's still like decent like he's still solid i guess but he could have been a lot better in my opinion but 
anyways let's go ahead and make this work of boruto right here and there we go so as you guys can see this mangara is pretty solid right now that he's boosted in attack mission but let's go ahead and get into the defense showcase and check him out let's get it all right you guys so i'm gonna be attacking with okage naruto because if i attack with the final valley units he's gonna get clapped i'm gonna put it on auto but just check this out man check this out in a fly-in room that's pretty nasty bro if if i do say so myself that that was pretty nasty now i know though i know if i were to put a final valley unit against him he's not gonna survive you know what i'm saying like that's where i have him right now uh, let me go ahead and attack him with a full squad again i'm not gonna use a crazy squad because he doesn't stand a chance against any of the meta shinobi so like final valley sasuke final valley naruto baryon he doesn't stand a chance against them so let's just go ahead and give him some props and let him go against some you know some solid shinobi just solid so let's go ahead and check it out okay here we are right outside the gate as you guys can see hokage naruto sakura and kid naruto put it on auto and let's check it out same thing um i really like this combo that i have him like that i've been using but as you guys can see man like if this dude literally if he only had chakra depletion in his kit look how much chakra he's depleting just off of his four star but if he were to have it on his new limit break bro he would be a monster like he would be crazy as you guys can see like he gets clapped by like okage naruto and mama sakura so he's not gonna stand a chance against final valley units or anything like that but let's go ahead and check him out on revival and then we'll go ahead and get into the final room let's check it out okay i'm gonna be running up final valley naruto just so you guys could see i'm gonna put it on auto so um okay let me use a jutsu right here because he's getting kind of stuck but as you guys can see like they're just melting through his hp unfortunately bro like i said i really wish that they gave gara some more and is he gonna use it no he's not so not that great i don't think his ai is that great <sighs> they just did him so dirty bro i'm so salty about it because i really like gara and it just would have been dope to see him come back in the meta again but Anyways, let's go ahead and check him out in the final room to top off this showcase. All right, you guys, here we are. I got him in there with KLM Naruto. Let's start off with the Shidori. Put it on auto. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. He got clapped. Okay, let's try this again, but let's uh, instacast with the X Ultimate this time. Let's check it out. All right, y'all, we back. I'm going to go ahead and use the X Ultimate right here. Put it on auto. Now, keep in mind, I do have uh, OG Gara to save them. And final valley and kalem naruto so he is in there with a good squad but they should help him survive to see if maybe we can get more of a showcase okay looks like kalem naruto is about to die okay he pulled off his x ultimate gara uses x ultimate as well okay gara's still alive gara's still alive which is nice okay all right hey that aoe was pretty solid right there man look he actually tanked it hey gara may not be that bad but honestly the only thing that's holding Gara back is that he doesn't have any team invincibility, unfortunately. Doesn't have any team invincibility jutsus. He only has... I mean, his four-star does, but he doesn't give the whole team evasion. He doesn't give the whole team a bunch of buffs. Like, he's very selfish with his buffs, unfortunately. And a big thing in Final Room is depleting Chakra. Like, you guys might be thinking, like, oh, it's not that big of a deal. But it really is because there are a lot of units who if you give them just the opportunity to pull off an x ultimate any little like space that they get once they use that x ultimate it might be wraps you know what i'm saying so depleting chakra is crucial because you cannot use your x ultimate without chakra you can't use anything without chakra so him not having that in that massive limit break is a pretty big deal breaker because that limit break has so much aoe and it would be so crazy like if you had him at limit break two or limit break three then he would be pretty decent but it's just the fact that he doesn't give his team invincibility that also holds him back a little bit like i don't know man i just he's still solid in final room though don't get me wrong you guys saw how he performed but you really need good supporting units in final room so you at least need like final valley naruto gara boruto rin mama sakura klm shisui you need those type of characters and if you if you want like a dps type unit who's gonna do damage and you don't have someone like amboy tachi or kid sasuke 
then Gara will do his job in the sense of having a lot of AoE and doing some damage. But in my opinion, I still think this is a skip banner. One of the Sasuke and Mama Sakura are coming out. And in my opinion, he is good. Like, he's fun to use. But definitely not meta breaking. So I would say Rishinos. Especially because the anniversary is coming in two months. So, anyways, let me know what y'all think about Gara down below, man. Let me know what y'all think about the boy. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, stay swaggy, stay blessed. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.